I've been using Affinity Photo, Affinity Designer, and Affinity Publisher for years. And recently, Affinity have put all of those programs into one program and are offering it for free. And I think it's a great alternative to Photoshop that loads of people are gonna jump on. Now, the problem is when you're trying to link it to another program, the executable file for Affinity is in a funny place. So in this video, I'm gonna show you where to find that exe file so you can get it working properly. And this is the example from my perspective. If there's a photograph in Lightroom that I wanna edit in something like Photoshop, but Affinity covers everything that Photoshop covers, for my needs at least, I can go to this function here in a right click menu to the edit in command and then edit in photo.exe. But it's now changed to affinity.exe. So let's go find where that is. If I go to the window start menu, most other programs like LibreOffice, if you right click on it, you can then click on the open file location button and you can go to exactly where that exe file exists. But with Affinity, unfortunately, that option is not there. So how do we find it? Let's just open up Affinity so that it's running on the computer. And then I'm gonna press Control Alt Delete or Control Shift and Escape to get into the task manager. Once we're in here, there's the Affinity logo in the apps list. We do have to drill one level down. It's the second level icon that we wanna click on. So a right click on that, and we can then go to open file location. That'll bring us to the window where the affinity.exe application exists. So in this window, we can then go to the file folder location at the top, right click on that and copy. Then we can close all of this down and head back into Lightroom or whatever program you need to access Affinity from. I'm gonna go into the preferences, into where the application needs to be run from. I'm gonna choose a folder location, and in here, I'm going to paste that folder path that we copied a second ago, press enter, and then the Affinity icon's right there, and that's the one I'm gonna choose. I okay out of that, and then, when I right click on a photo and click edit in, it now says edit in Affinity and we are good to go. If you are looking for more videos on photography editing and philosophy in photography, then check out these other videos on my channel and I'll see you in the next one.